Last month, we brought you the first drive review of the Force Urbania. And now, there is a new van. This is the Force Urbania. It sits one step above the traveling. This month, we are doing a real world review of it. We are going on a road trip. Yeah! Our day started early at 5 a.m. We all turned up at the Evo India office in Pune, ready to head out for a day on the road in the Force Urbania. We loaded the van up, put the luggage into the luggage storage spaces, and set off. Our destination: Natrax, Pithampur, near Indore. A total of 580 kilometers and 13 hours away by road. The Urbania is a new van from Force Motors, and it promises an upmarket experience, much more indulgent than the likes of the Tempo Traveler. It is available in three wheelbases, short, medium, as well as long. And what we have with us today is the medium wheelbase. We have just entered Madhya Pradesh and are about seven hours into the drive now. We've also done 350 kilometers so far. And I think this is the right time to point out all the things my colleagues will tell you on why the Urbana is such a good road trip machine. Follow me. But first, See, I can stand right up in the Urbania and headroom, that's not a problem at all. Let's see what Akshat has to say about the ride and handling of the Urbania. Akshat, all comfy here? Yes, Mandar, absolutely. The Urbania is so comfortable and it is so quiet in here. You can barely hear the engine and the ride quality is superb too. Surprisingly, it is a very controlled body roll and in the corners, I'm not feeling car sick at all. Let's hear all about the usual stuff now from Mohit. But how's the seating? Mandar, it's nice. I like the space that I have. I like the fact that the seats can recline. I like the AC vents that are on every seat. I like the reading lights and the USB ports. To charge your gadgets, right? Exactly. But most importantly, the seat belts. Safety first. That's what matters. Time for a quick lunch break on the highway now and while all the boys are grabbing a quick bite inside, I thought I'd tell you my opinions on the Urbania's looks. You see there's sophistication to it. These LED DRLs, the headlights, even the tail lights. This thing looks classy. There are a lot of people movers on the highways but you see nothing looks as classy as the Urbania. Let's go inside, let's eat some food and we'll be out on the highway in no time. Something else that's also worth pointing out is the Urbania's driver's cockpit. Check this out. I've got two airbags, one for the driver as well as one for the passenger. And the Urbania also gets ABS as well as ESP, which is particularly helpful in the monsoons. But what I am more interested in is this infotainment touchscreen. Now this system gets Android Auto, Bluetooth connectivity as well as AUX connectivity. I've hooked my phone to it and we have navigated to Natrax. It's showing three hours, but for those three hours, the Urbania's sound system will keep us entertained, which I think sounds particularly nice. It's a six-speaker system. Now, we could have done this road trip in a car, but you know what? It could have taken at least three cars for all of us to go to Natrax. At the end of the day, we are a team, right? And that is what I like about the Urbania. It makes us feel like a team. It ensures that we stay together. Now, it's time for the final leg. We arrived at Natrax at 8 p.m. Feeling just as fresh and just as energetic when we started the journey because the Urbania is such a comfortable road trip machine. The entire team had a blast on the journey from Pune to Natrax because we were all together and it felt like a school picnic all over again. The Urbania rides nicely, kept us entertained with its sound system and also carried a ton of our stuff. It really is a brilliant road trip machine and one to look out for if you want a van that keeps the family together.